guys, for this video, I'm just going to be talking about my back problem. Never really talked about it on my channel. I did make a video about it, just never posted it because I was talking about a lot of different things in that video. So I just never got around to posting it. I wanted to make a separate video talking about my back problems because it's something I was born with basically, but never really noticed it until I gained some weight and whatnot. Blue, you're loud. I should have closed the door. Love you, babe. I never really noticed it until I gained weight and that's when it started hitting me because it basically activates whenever I gain weight. It's too much for my spine basically because I don't have any ab muscles. I don't work out or anything. I do but I don't work out long enough so I just need to gain ab muscles to help support my back basically. Basically, basically, basically. I just keep on saying basically. <laughs> it came up again i did however get some surgery to help with my back but it, yeah it's just an ongoing process of irritation <laughs> it's so annoying if you can hear my dog panting ignore that <laughs> since my surgery i've not gotten back pain or if i would it would be like a sharp pain like very it would be tolerable but it would be really quick and it'll go away um, or be like that for like a day, but it's not bad. It's very tolerable and it'll go away. This time, it's because we went to our trip, which is six hours away, and that kind of messed up my back. So now, you know, it, every day it was getting a little worse and worse based on how I was sitting and laying down. And it just got to the point where it, it hurt to walk. And that's how it used to be before. When he, it was really bad. Like, it would get bad to the point where my fiancé would have to carry me just to go use the restroom or anything. It was really bad i'm glad this time around it wasn't that bad i was able to walk and went up but every step did hurt it's annoying i hate it but i'm actually so happy that i had got the surgery because i noticed that it actually helped me a ton because it first of all it doesn't last that long it was a couple of days ago that actually was really really bad so i only had two days of just basically laying in bed being lazy and not doing much i was in pain it hurts to walk it hurts to lay down well laying down it does hurt when i move but if i just stay in one spot so like if i'm standing if i just stay still i'm fine if i'm laying down if i just stay still i'm fine but moving hurts so today's the third day basically and I feel so much better. I did take some ibuprofen to help me so now I'm able to sit down which is great but man I just hate that I have to go through this. I forget the name. I know I've written it down I believe if you want, I'll just put it on the screen. I'm not going to look through my phone right now. I'm going to put it on the screen what it's called. I do have a slight scoliosis going on and then I can't remember what it is, which part of my back is the lower part of my back. So every now and then, like, if I bend backwards, it pushes out my spine, which is supposed to stay in one spot. I think it's the cushion between your spine. I don't, I don't know terms. Don't come for me. It's been a while since I've been to my chiropractor. So whenever I bend backwards, it could activate it because it pushes out and in my nerves, of course. And then whenever, I think it was just backwards that it mainly she's seen the difference in the x-rays but it's just so annoying and i hate the fact that i have to go through this it's like i am only 27 years old i am not that old i started feeling this pain like well i felt some type of similar pain when i was younger i even talked about it in like my previous videos my early videos that i had it was real brief and i didn't talk about it much i really just said that i deal with back problems but i didn't get into detail it was a really old video <laughs> but it really it got really 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 bad i want to say six years ago six seven years ago it got really 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 bad to the point where i, I couldn't walk i couldn't work or anything because i was in pain and when i did work i had to keep on telling my supervisor and not to give me light things to do because me bending over hurts me walking hurts it's like a headache it was so bad it was just so bad i would literally cry when i have to move on that ibuprofen was my best friend the ibuprofen 800's best friend so bad i man, i'm just so grateful that i got a surgery to help with it it was not on my spine but it was to help with me because you know being overweight it does take a toll on my spine my chiropractor did tell me as well that if i was to ever have kids um being pregnant would affect 
that and I might be in even more pain which is why I don't have kids <laughs> one of the reasons why I don't have kids I'm not excited for that I don't want to <sighs> sorry I don't want to deal with that so I think I I'm, I, I don't know I was thinking about getting a surrogate so that I could have a baby in the future not right now I'm not ready right now but I just don't want to have a baby be pregnant and have that problem get worse so it's just it's tough excuse me I know you want to play baby but I just give you some time I love you my dog he wants he wants my time hi you're so cute <laughs> Anyways, being pregnant will make it worse. It might not, but it's highly likely it, it, it might. I noticed when I get around 170 pounds, that's when I start feeling the pain. And if I mess up and lay the wrong way, sit the wrong way, sit too long, then the sharp pain will linger and I'll be screwed for weeks on end. So I know the surgery helped me a ton because now I only lasted three two maybe three days i'm still dealing with it but i did take the ibuprofen so i feel amazing right now <laughs> i guess i just wanted to talk about it because it's a very annoying process and it's, it's like really bad it's it gets depressing at times when it first happened i was so hurt because you know i'm young nobody wants to go through back pain especially young you hear about a lot of problems when you're older and it's like i can't even do much it's really depressing I hate it, but I'm being hopeful. I'm trying to be positive. I've been reading some books. I'm currently reading Get Out of Your Mind or whatever because I seen the book and I was like, wow, this is speaking to me. It's really helpful. I'm happy that I got it and I want to continue to read it. Blue, you are distracting me. <laughs> he keeps on coming back and just staring at me. It's so weird. It's just so weird. It's, ugh. I didn't really go into too much detail about my back problem or whatnot. But it's annoying. I hate the fact that I have this problem because it's affecting me. I feel like I'm young and I can't even do things I want to do. I want to do so much. I want to travel and all that. And sitting down too long is just out of the question for me. Because if I sit down too long, it can activate the back thing. What will help me is if I work out basically and lose some weight. I'm overweight for my height. I don't really look it, but I am. So I just need to lose some weight and then work on my ab muscles to help with my back support which kind of sucks because i <laughs> i like stretching and all that i like to do back bends and whatnot i haven't did it in years it's been a while and i can't even do it anymore because if i bend backwards it get activated so i'm basically scared to do a lot of things i'm scared to hike because when i hiked like three years ago it hurt so bad at the time it did not i felt it hurting my back when i got to like high point but i wanted to keep on going i wanted to go all the way to the top couldn't make it it was very hurtful and then when i got down i was fine once the adrenaline left me i want to say by the next day it was over i could not walk the next day not because i had sore muscles because of my back pain it was so bad it was so bad i just hate this i really do but just wanted to talk about that if any of you guys have any back pain or if you deal with anything stress depression back pain anything insecurities let me know in the comment section below if you're confident enough to write it i would love to hear it i would love to talk to you guys about it you're never alone there's always other people out there just not everybody is as open to talk about it as others so just know you're not alone but yeah that's my video thank you guys for listening if you got this far please hit that thumbs up button hit the subscribe button as well and thank you for listening i really really appreciate you guys see you in the next video bye Thank you.